A new investigation is raising serious questions about the safety of a popular booster car seat for children. Video obtained by the investigative website ProPublica shows a dummy being violently tossed around during a side crash test. They found one company marketed its booster seats for children who experts worry may be too small to be fully protected in such crashes. Chris Van Cleve has one family's story. Jillian Brown was about to start kindergarten in 2016 when her world changed. Her parents, Jay and Lindsay. And the first thing I did was look back to, to see, um, to check on the girls. Lindsay was driving her daughters, Jillian and Samantha, to daycare when they were hit on the driver's side. Jillian was in an even flow big kids booster seat, but was internally decapitated, paralyzed from the neck down in the crash. Now a ventilator keeps her alive. The Browns are now suing Evenflow, but the company says Jillian's booster performed as designed and her injuries were primarily due to the severity of the crash and or driver error. Her booster meets or exceeds federal standards and was side impact crash tested, but there's no federal standard for that test and videos of Evenflow's crash tests obtained by ProPublica show booster seats passing even though the child sized test dummy is tossed about. Dr. Ben Hoffman reviewed the videos. I, I think the word that I used to describe them initially was horrific. Human beings just aren't built to survive that amount of movement. A car seat with a harness fares better in the crash test. The dummy largely stays in place. In the booster seat, the dummy slips out of the seat belt shoulder restraint. During depositions obtained by ProPublica, Evenflow employees explain the only way to fail the company's crash test is if the dummy falls completely out of the seat or if the seat itself breaks. Evenflow touted its side impact test uh, as something that was rigorous. The test was anything but rigorous. Just months before Jillian's accident, Evenflow changed the height and weight requirement in the owner's manual, raising the minimum weight from at least 30 pounds to a minimum of 40. The company did not notify customers like the Browns already using the seats because Evenflow says there was no safety impact with that change. Jillian weighed just under 37 pounds at the time of the crash. Evenflow declined our request for an on-camera interview but says they are a pioneer in side impact testing and provide safe, effective and affordable products, adding they comply with all federal standards which do allow selling booster seats to kids 30 pounds and up. Boy, right. you look at those pictures. This is such an important warning for parents. Thank you. Thank you, Chris.